Are you a serial notebook abandoner who's going to journal for real this year? Or are you a first-time newbie who wants to start a diary? No matter what your motivations are, writing in a journal doesn't have to be a process that takes hours. In this video, we'll share five low-effort ways to start and keep journaling in 2021. Journaling shouldn't be a stressful experience, but so many people feel anxious when they see an enormous page that has to be filled with writing. If you've experienced the fear of the blank page before, it's okay, we got you. An excellent solution to this problem is to use a special journal that dedicates a page to the same day over successive years. Each day only gets a small defined space to fill in. You can journal every day without feeling overwhelmed by how much you have to write. As an added bonus, you can read entries from previous years on the same page to see how much you've grown. Line of day journals come in dated and undated varieties. Undated diaries like these by Apika and Midori are available in three and five year versions. You can start writing in these diaries whenever you like, though you have to write in the year for each entry. Hobonichi's dated five year Techo has all the dates filled in for you but starting late will have you skipping pages. While we're talking about the fear of the blank page, this deceptively simple tip can make it easier to write. Rather than using a large journal with too much real estate, downsize to a smaller notebook that's easier to fill. An A6 notebook like this one from Midori is half the size of an A5 notebook. You can even pick up a set of pocket-sized field notes to always have on hand. Instead of writing out elaborate journal entries, opt for something short and sweet. It's also useful for those who find it difficult to write an hourly play-by-play. -play. Choose small events that change frequently. For example, you can keep a simple log of each day's weather and meals. If you enjoy crafting, tabletop gaming, or letter writing, you can record brief updates around your hobby. A quick, simple entry is also a great way to warm up your writing muscles. If you feel like you have more to say at that point, your journal is already open, so you can just jump right in. You don't actually have to write to keep a journal. It might actually be easier to keep consistent entries by turning diaries into visual experiences. Scrapbookers can glue found objects and ephemera into a notebook. Artists can draw simple four-panel comics to remember something funny or interesting that happened. You could also write short entries and decorate the rest of the page with washi tape and stickers. If you're not sure what to write about, a list of journal topics and prompts could be the inspiration you need. You'll need to plan ahead for this tip, but it's also really easy to do. Just jot down interesting prompts when you see or think of them. Write them down on an index card or sticky note so it's easy to move the prompts from page to page. To get you started, here are some topic ideas. Just use the ones you like. Do you have any journaling tips? Let us know in the comments below. Click the card above to watch our how to journal video for even more ideas. Or if you're like me and you struggle to maintain a journal past three or four days, but you like looking at stationary videos, subscribe. See you next time. Or a newbie who wants to start a dirt Dury. <laughs> you can even pick up a set of pocket-sized field notes to always have on hand. Although somehow, personally, I never managed to fill those and I don't understand how. I am a serial notebook abandoner though. I like will write in it for like three pages and then move on to something else. I really am just very dedicated to like sticky notes. <laughs> sticky note stacks are the only things that get used up completely in my house.